Good morning, Algebra 2. We are going to be covering Lesson 79, and there's lots of pieces to it, and it's on understanding piecewise functions. Now, piecewise functions means you have a bunch, you have pieces of different functions together. So I'm going to do an example with you before we jump into the lesson practice. So I have recorded museum prices, right? Anytime we go to an amusement park or well, when we used to, or the movies, or um, No Surrender, I don't know, wherever you're going, there might be different prices for different ages, and it's a perfect example of a piecewise function. So at this museum, if you're under the age of 12, you only have to pay $5 for your ticket. If you're between the ages of 12 and 50, you pay $12. If you're over 50, you pay $10. Notice I've marked the left as X, and the right is y, just like any standard table. And we're going to write the function notation, so we're going to write the formulas. So the first, I'm going to do the first, the top one first. So you write your y value first. So f of x equals 5 if, and then I'm going to state the domain. So if x is less than 12, because that's what under 12 would mean less than 12. Next one, okay, f of x, remember that f of x is also y, okay? So they're saying f of x is $12 if you are between the ages of 12 and 50, and to write that we would say 12 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 50. Right? You, you can be 12 and you can be 50, which is why there's an equal to. Um, and then last, but, and sorry, that was this one. Last but not least, if you are over 50, you pay $10. So f of x equals $10 if x is greater than 50. So that is how you would write it in function notation. So that would be the function. And then we're, let's go over how to graph a simple piecewise function. So f of x equals 5 is if x is less than 12. So on the left, I have a price. So $5 if x goes from 0 to, but it's not equal to 12. So if this is 10, let's say 12 is here. And I'm going to do an open circle and a flat line because it's $5 for anybody that's, I have age, anybody that's zero all the way to five. I'm sorry, uh, it's $5 for anyone zero to 12 years. I approximated that 12 would be right there because this is 15, so I just did my best estimation. Now it's $12 um, if you are between the ages of 12, so on 12 I'm gonna put, and it's equal to, so I have a closed dot, all the way to 50, also a closed dot because it says equal to. And it's flat because it's $12 for everybody in there. Now it's $10, so here's the price, if I'm 50 or older. And I'm just going to point because that could include anyone from 51 all the way to 91, right? So, but notice it is open because it doesn't equal to. All right, so let's try one in our lesson practice. So our lesson practice is on page 560. They've given us the following information based on an amusement park, and they would write, they'd like us to um, graph the piecewise function showing the admission cost for someone X years of age. So I'm going to set up, this is X, this is Y, so I have, I'm going to go, um, my prices are 10 to 25, so I'm going to go 10, 20, 30. So on the left, I have price. And on the bottom, I will have age. And I'm going to go by 2. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. 
All right, so six and under, so ages six and under are $10. So six and under would translate as um, X is less than or equal to six. So that's gonna be a closed dot for all the ages. And notice I drew it at 10 because it's $10. Now ages 7 to 18, so that would be 7 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to um, 18. So ages 7 to 18, so I'm going to put, if this is 6, 7 would be right in the middle. 7 to 18 is $20. And then finally it says um, over 18, so that would be x is greater than 18. And that's $25. So I would have an open circle and pointing to the right because that's anyone over the age of 18. So that's number, um, that's part A. Now I'd like us to go over how to evaluate piecewise functions. So So example number two, if I have, I'm going to write the following function. If f of x equals 12, if x is less than 0, and if it equals negative 5, if um, 0 is less than or equal to x, which is less than 5, and 2, if, if x is greater than or equal to 5. Sorry about that. So we are going to evaluate... What does the val the function equal when x is 0, and what does the function equal when x is 5? So when x is 0, I need to locate um, the answer for f of x when x equals 0. So if I look, it doesn't equal 12 because this says x is less than 0. So I'm looking for which one has an equal to for 0, which would be... Here, right, x can, 0 is less than or equal to x. Therefore, f of x equals negative 5. Now, if I'm looking for where x equals 5, it's not this middle one. It's not neg because this doesn't equal 5. But x is greater than or equal to 5 here. So f of x, or y, that's what they're really asking for, the y value, equals 2. So I'm going to try another one with some more, a uh, bit more complex equations. So number three, um, if I have x, f of x equals x minus two, if x is less than or equal to zero, x squared, if zero is less than x, which is less than three, and 3x if x is greater than or equal to 3. So let's try a couple. Let's evaluate um, when x equals a negative 2 and when x equals 3. So let's start with those. So if x equals negative 2, so I'm looking for which domain includes a negative 2. Well, negative 2 is not between 0 and 3. It's not greater than 3, so I'm using this one. So f of x equals, I'm plugging negative 2 into x minus 2, and I get f of x equals negative 4. Or you could say when f is at negative 2, I get negative 4. Next one when x is 3. So this one says less than 3. This one says equal to 3. So I'm plugging it into there. So f at 3, and I'm plugging that into 3x, I get that the value of f at 3 is 9. Let's try another one. Let's evaluate when x equals 10. Actually, x equals 1, and let's do when x equals 10. So when x equals 1, that's not less than 0. It's not greater than 3. It's in between 0 and 3. So I'm using x squared. 
So the value of our function at 1 is at 1, whoops, is at 1 squared, which equals 1. Okay, moving on to x equals 10. So x equals 10 is definitely greater than 3, so I would use 3 at x. So f at 10 equals 3 times 10, which equals 30. So let's go to part B in our lesson practice. So part B gives us the following. It says that f of x equals 5x minus 2 if x is less than negative 3, 2x plus 2 if x is in between negative 3 and 10, and x squared plus 4 if x is greater than or equal to 10. And it would like us to evaluate x at negative 3 and x at 10. All right, so for x equals negative 3, uh, that's less than negative 3. Oh, that's equal to. So I'm using this function here. So I'm plugging negative 3 into 2x plus 2, and we're substituting negative 3. So f at negative 3 equals negative 6 plus 2, which is negative 4. All right, x at 10. So that says less than 10, so I'm using this one, greater than or equal to. So I'm using the function of x squared plus 4. So I'm plugging 10 in. So f at 10 equals 100 plus 4, which is 104. Beautiful. All right, part C. Thought you have a book. Wants us to write the rule for this function. So I have to pay attention to where the y value is and where the x's are. So let's. I'm going to start with the one on the left that's pointing to the left. It has an open circle at, I notice they're going by 2's, so that's at negative 1. So I'd say f of x equals negative 1 if, now I'm looking at my x values. I notice it's an open circle pointing to the left, so less than 0. And then the dot on the right, uh, y is at 4, and it says if x is greater than or equal to 0. All right, moving on to graphing. And these are more complicated functions, and it will end our lesson. So we're going to do an example of graphing a piecewise function. And we're going to start, I think uh, we are on example number four. We are going to graph f of x equals 2x plus 1, whoops, when x is less than negative 1. It equals negative 3x if x, whoops, if negative 1 is less than or equal to x, which is less than 2, and it equals x squared minus 10 if x is greater than or equal to 2. Now, one method that the book covers is to build a table. I think that takes longer. So I'm going to show you the method I use, and you can, um, you can dislike it or you can love it. It'll be totally up to you. So I'm going to graph using a pencil. Pencils are our friends. And I'm going to need 6, 4, 2, 0. You could also use, uh, it would be much harder to use Desmos for something like this, I think, because you'd have to stipulate the domain change. And I ain't got time for that. So I'm going to use a pencil, and then I will color coordinate this top one. So 2x plus 1, my y-intercept is at 1, right? And I would go up 2 over 1, down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1. Now the key here, though, it says x is less than or equal to negative 1. So right there, 
would be an open circle, because it doesn't say equal to. And so I'm gonna erase these two dots because it says x is less than or equal to. So x shouldn't go past here, because it says x is less than or equal to negative one. So I'm only gonna draw the part of the line that's in this domain. So there is 2x plus 1, but I had to erase anything that happened after x at negative 1. And it should be an open circle. So moving on, you can use colored pencils, but I have highlighters. So negative 1 to 2 would be right in this range here. Okay, nice to have a ruler. And I'm graphing negative 3x. Now this is, um, my y-intercept is zero, but I'm going up three over one, up three over one, but at two, it should be open. And negative one, so let me go back to zero, down three, it should be open. Or sorry, it should be closed, because it says equal to. So it's closed here, but it's open here. And down three over one, down three over one. So here, your graph is not necessarily going to be connected. Oh, my bad. Anybody notice what I did wrong? Thankfully, I have an erasable pen. It should have a negative slope. Ah! So it should be open. No, it should be closed here. Wait, up, closed here. Up three over one, down three over one, down three. And there we go. Sorry, it has a negative slope. So it should be this line here. All right, last whew, is this here. And it says x is, I'm gonna put the ruler here, greater than two. So here's two through the x-axis. So it would apply to anything to the right. For the function x squared minus 10. So that one would be helpful to have a um, table, right? Or you can pull it up on Desmos. But um, I'm just going to plug in 2, 3, and 4 and see what I get. So if I plug 2 in, 2 squared is 4 minus 10. That gives me negative 6. Um, so I'm just plugging it into this function. Um, 3, 3 squared minus 10 is negative 1. 4 squared minus 10 is 6. So I have a point here at negative 6, and it says closed. Um, I have a point here at 3, negative 1, and 4, 6. And so here is this function here. Pretty, pretty crazy but hopefully the colors help you differentiate. So the last one we're gonna do is part D of our lesson practice. We are not gonna do E, and they'd like us to graph f of x equals x plus one if x is less than or equal to one, x, f of x equals one if um, x is greater than one but less than two, and f of x equals 4 if x is greater than or equal to 2. So again, you can, if you prefer, you can use the table method. But like I said, I don't like the table method. I think it takes too much time. So I just go off of graphing. All right, I'm going to space my numbers out because they're so close together. This is my x-axis, and for y, I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to space it out, and that's y. So I'm going to color coordinate this one as well. So I'm going to do this top one in green. x is less than or equal to 1. So here's 1 on the x-axis. This would be anything in this zone. x plus 1, so it's at 1. And I'm going to go up one over one, up one over one, and it's 
closed because it has equal to. And now I'm going to go in the reverse. So my graph will look like this. Okay. And has a closed dot here. Right. So there's the top one. The middle, X is between 1 and 2. So I would shade just this region here. And it says that Y equals 1. So, and it should be open at both. Right? Because there's no equal to. So it's open and in the middle. Last is for X is greater than 2. Right? So here's all this part here. And it is at 4. So up 4. And it's closed and pointing to the right because it says any X value that's greater than 4. All right, that is it for homework 79. You're going to skip numbers 9, 18, 19, 23, 27, and 29. Thank you.